The Majorca Ratter, also known as Karate Majorki or Ratonero Majorquin, is a small breed from Balearic Islands where it's traditionally used for hunting rats and rabbits. In this video I will tell you all you need to know about the Karate Majorki. I would love to thank Siuna for letting me use its photos in this video. If you would like the Meyer character and you would love to see more of it, definitely check her out. Link is in description. The appearance of Ratonero Mallorquin is similar to appearance of many other rat hunting dogs, such as Prague Ratter or Miniature Pincher. It is a small dog breed with square shaped body. The average height is between 29 to 36 cm, which is 11 to 14 inches, and weight is usually between 3 to 5 kg, which is 7 to 11 pounds. Females tend to be slightly smaller than males, but the difference is not extremely big. Typical appearance characteristics of this breed are the alert expression, erect ears and taillessness. This breed should have no tail. The coat is quite short, it's lying close to the body and it's pretty shiny. Most often you will find this breed in black and tan and brown and tan color combinations, which can sometimes be with white patches or tricolor. The Karate Majorki is used for generations on Majorca Island for hunting rats and rabbits and as a good and alert watchdog. This is a very good hunter, showing high prey drive, determination to the hunt, tenacity and great passion. This is also quite courageous dog with relatively high working ethic. Overall, this is a very skilled small game hunter. But the Meyer Carretter is not only an excellent hunter, it's also a very loving and affectionate companion dog. These dogs truly love its people and can be pretty protective over them. They also do okay around other dogs in the family or around kids, but of course the kid should be old enough to know how to treat small and fragile dog gently so it doesn't hurt it. On the other hand, the Ratonero Majorquin is typically quite alert dog towards strangers and it can take a while before a complete stranger will gain a trust of this dog. Thanks to this alertness towards strangers, this breed can be trained to be good watchdog because Karate Majorquin will most likely alert you when someone is approaching your property or when he will hear something suspicious. It's important to mention that these dogs are quite lively, energetic and playful. They might be small, but they have big energy. They will always be ready for any outdoor adventure, long walk or hike. And you must take them on several daily outdoor walks every day, so they stay healthy and happy. There is only little known about the history and origin of Meyer Carretter, and the first documentation about this breed is from the late 19th and early 20th century. One theory suggests that these dogs are closely related to another Spanish breed, Gosrater Valencia, which were brought to Balearic Islands with migrating Valencians in the 19th and 20th century. There is also possibility that they have English Terrier as one of their ancestors. For most of its history, Karate Majorki was and still is used especially in rural Majorca as a vermin hunter and also as a good watchdog. Today the breed is quite popular all over the island, even in the bigger cities as a good companion dog. Great fact is that the Majorca Retter maintenance and grooming needs are very low. It's a short haired breed, so there is no need for trimming or shaving the coat. Regular brushing is beneficial because it will remove the loose and dead hair from the coat just as any dirt and it will keep the coat shiny and great looking. Just like with any other breed, you should also regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth and clean them or clip them if needed. Another good fact is that this is usually a very healthy and long living breed, with average lifespan around 15 years, but it's not uncommon for them to live a healthy and active life into their late teens. Of course, they can suffer from the typical dog issues, such as some eye problems, allergies or joint problems, but none of those are very common with this breed. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Mallorca Ratter and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.